Hi, I'm Bill Carpentier, and I want to take this opportunity to provide you with some background on just one of the workshops that I have uh, on my website. This one is specifically for field-based sales managers, and let me break it into a couple of broad categories. During the time we spend as managers, we are introduced to a lot of leadership workshops from our respective companies or corporations. They tend to generally cover broad topics. What I'd like to do is delve into a little more detail around those broad topics, uh, a level of detail that you may not have gotten from your company or your corporation. The other thing I'd like to do is introduce you to some smaller strategies. And these are strategies, I call them smaller strategies because they are strategies that either I developed over my uh, time in various leadership positions or I gleaned from others. And they are in large part responsible for delivering sustained high-level performance for me and I am absolutely convinced if you glean some of these ideas amend them to fit your own needs you'll find exactly the same result. Now what can you learn from the workshop if you're a field-based sales manager? There are several things. First of all if you're new to the leadership position I'll talk about how you can hit the ground running on day one. And for all field-based sales managers, we'll discuss recruiting. How do you recruit effectively so that you, number one, find the right fit for your team? Because it really is not just about hiring someone, it's about hiring the right fit. And secondly, how do you improve employee retention? Now, under that recruiting umbrella uh, are two areas, and we'll talk about those. What do you look for on a resume so that you don't spend time uh, in front of the wrong people? And um, what, do you, um, what kind of techniques do you employ as far as interviewing goes? So if you have several qualified people, you zero in on whose background really meets uh, the needs that you have for your team, for that right fit. After recruiting, of course, comes training. And how do you uh, train so that you really give every employee the best chance of success? We'll talk about that because um, training is not a one-and-done proposition. Follow-up is every bit as important as the training. In fact, if you effectively train your employees, what happens is they become a lot more confident in talking with customers. And if they're more confident, they're much more passionate. And if they're much more passionate, you will see sales results uh, that you have never seen before. We'll also talk about establishing communication techniques that will better position any leader in a more timely fashion to, number one, Reinforce solid performance and desired behaviors. Number two, become aware of any obstacles to an individual or to a team that would hinder performance. And number three, to act on conflict issues that will interfere with goal achievement. We'll also talk about how to develop more useful business plans, not the kind that are just written once every year or once every six months just to check a box. But these are business plans that will be the roadmap to success for you. We'll additionally talk about how influence in a leader can carry a lot more weight than does authority. And we'll talk about how to improve conflict resolution and actually minimize conflict in the first place. I also touch finally on the importance of understanding motivation in your employees, shadowing techniques, and personal growth. You know, good performance isn't good enough anymore. And if you're a field-based sales manager that feels that this workshop could benefit you, then I ask you to join me. Join me so that you can take part in the awards that await world-class performance.